Hello, I'm Bill Mobley, Chair of Neurosciences at UCSD, and uh, happy to be hosting another in our series of Neurosciences Connections. Today I'm going to be talking with Irene Litvan. She's a brand new recruitment to UCSD and has had a terrific career, very exciting work in the area of movement disorders. And so, Irene, if you'll tell us a little bit about what you've been doing, where you've been, been what your plans are for UCSD, we'd love to hear. Great. Well, first of all, thank you for having me mm -hmm. here. It is uh, my great pleasure to be at UCSD. This has been the best move I've done uh, in mm -hmm. my career. I think that it is extremely exciting to work here. The atmosphere of all the other investigators uh, make a beautiful mix to really move things forward. So I have been at the National Institute of Health uh, when I moved to the United States, I was before in Spain in, and did my residency in the most prestigious uh, hospital in, in Spain in neurology, and then moved to the United States to uh, do my uh, visiting fellowship at the NIH, and then repeated a second residency, and then um, did a whole career as specializing in movement disorders, dementia, epidemiology, and it's been a lot of fun uh, to create a center of excellence at the University of Louisville and the feeling that we, in just two months, are creating one here. So there was so much uh, here already that it was just my role to be putting it together or helping people to get together just to uh, be able to uh, work in a group that is multidisciplinary and where basic science and clinical science and even uh, moving into the community is all uh, just a translational process. Mm -hmm. So it is exciting to hear the patients from one side and as you know we had a beautiful symposia on November the 5th where a lot of patients came and, and we got the excitement from them in seeing the whole group of UCSD um, showing all the Parkinson's, different uh, presentations as well as therapies and the hope for the future. So having said that, I think that the major role that I have here is to help in translation, to really stimulate translation of research, and to be able to get new ideas from things that are already in place. And one of the major things that I am very interested in and have worked a lot is in trying to um, identify diseases and classify them. And so I've been very active in the development of diagnostic criteria for uh, progressive supranuclear palsy, cortical basal degeneration, multiple system atrophy, and now we have just done one on Parkinson's disease and mild cognitive impairment. We did one on dementia with Lewy bodies, and um, I'm going to be involved in another task force for the development of criteria for Parkinson's disease. And, uh, it is very exciting to try to see how with clinical tools we can try to diagnose earlier. But obviously the clinic is not good enough and so we may need to use more of other biological markers and the major search is which one is the right one and how we can really mm -hmm. identify all these different diseases. So the center, the center has a multifactorial goal, right? It, it's, it's to see patients and care for them it's to educate the next generation of neurologists, and it's also to link up with the scientists so that you can understand better these diseases and how to diagnose them early and how to treat them. Are, is the patient mission, talk a little bit more about the goal of seeing patients here at UCSD in larger numbers and, and, and with better quality of care. Well, I think we have improved already significantly the quality of care by providing a multidisciplinary approach. So we have uh, a group that we meet uh, once a week or twice a month, uh, depending on the amount of uh, patients that we will have. 
and that is constituted by speech therapies, occupational therapist, uh, physical therapist, uh, neuropsychology, neurosurgeon, and the idea is to really put us all together to provide the best care possible, state-of-the-art care, and be able to discuss each patient the way that we can improve their care, how can we provide a better quality of life. So it starts from getting an early diagnosis, getting the proper management, getting patients into therapeutic trials. So we have several of those that are in, in the works. Uh, we have actually four. And the idea is to try to provide new therapies for to slow down the course of the disease, or at least attempt to slow down the course of the disease, or to provide symptomatic mm -hmm. therapies um, that would target symptoms that are harder to treat. And that, I think, is one of the major focus, because even if we slow down the course of the disease, there will be a lot of symptoms that are already there that we will need to manage. So of course, I think in the future, what we're going to try to do is really prevent these diseases, and that's that why correct. this research element is so important. Absolutely. Irene, we're delighted to have you here. Welcome, and uh, we look forward to a great time uh, building a terrific center that helps our patients and builds great science. Thank you. Thank you very much.